So the next series of videos are going to be about various different types of objects that you can create and manipulate inside of the OPCD object placement tool. The first one being bulkheads. Bulkheads are, if you want to call it the walls or perimeters around uh, water bodies. Bulkheads can also be used for um, around land masses as well. Um, you can actually put a bulkhead around any shape inside of a Blender. So let's go into Blender. I'll show you how to do one on a water body. So here's a water body. This is one that we were working on before. And I think our water plane is on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the water plane just because um, it's easier to see without it and you won't accidentally select it. So at any time you want to work and, and you want to do a bulkhead, I don't know, for example, of a water body, what it's going to do is it's going to put it around the perimeter, okay, around the outside of this. The key thing for a bulkhead or uh, anything, a bulkhead, is that the area that it's put on, it should be flat. So if this is like up, you know, if this is not flat or it's, you know, a lot of varying height around here, the bulkhead is going to follow that and it's not going to look really good. So the key thing here is that, um, you probably would have wanted to flatten out the your water body via RAM and what RAM is really good at in the tutorials you might have seen this is it'll it'll essentially make your entire perimeter one height okay and that height is essentially what your bulkhead's going to follow because let's face it water bodies like rivers and streams you know for that water to stay in it's got to be essentially the same height so that's going to be the key thing here Another thing for bulkheads for them to look correctly is that this drop off here needs to be pretty steep. So let's go back up here to the water base really quick. And um, actually, I'm going to conform this again, the selected. And you can see now it's snapped to my terrain again. So I'm also going to come down here to the water base and I'm going to change my inner depth to, let's say, two meters. OK, I'm going to make it pretty steep here. I'm going to apply that. And you can see now I have a nice, clean, steep area around there, which is going to be perfect for a bulkhead. And you can also see another thing you might want to consider doing here is also flattening the base to make this look good. So that's going to be, let me do that. So now that's nice and flat. And um, the key thing is with a bulkhead, it's not going to be, for it to look good, a bulkhead is always around a flat water body. And I said, hey, you don't want things looking too perfect, but a bulkhead, <laughs> it does look perfect. It's not natural. OK, um, so now we're going to go down to object placement. And if we expand object placement, the first one we have up here is bulkhead. And we've got a couple different things. And I would say, you know, these are all going to look a little bit different. Let me just do a wood wall. And it's pretty simple. I'm going to do add bulkhead to selected. And when I do that, it might not look correct at first. And this definitely does not look correct. It's got some Z fighting here. Key thing is just go in here and do flip direction. Now it looks much better. So I, you can see my bulkhead now. Now my channel, it's been assigned, uh, this, well, it's actually not a channel because I am in um, sh a viewport shading. So this is the material that it's assigned in Blender. But inside of Unity, we're, this is going to actually get assigned a more wood looking type thing. Okay. And you can see that's a wood bulkhead. And if I Z out of that or control Z out of that, I can go back here and let me just do another one. I don't think I've seen this rail tie one before. Let me add bulkhead and let me flip the direction here. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, so it's just kind of like a very simple like plank board perimeter. And again, this is just, just given some default yellowish material, but it will look much better in Unity. And let me just show you guys what these other ones look like. And again, this is what experimentation is all about. Let me go to the stone wall bulkhead, add that one. Let me flip the direction. So that's just a, a straight stone wall. And in Unity, it'll get a default stone texture, but you can actually apply any really any stone you want. We've got a lot of flexibility to do different types of stone materials. There's all kinds of websites that have materials that you can put on that. So those are the three different types of bulkhead. You can see how smooth it looks around there. That bulkhead will be a separate object when it gets imported into Unity. So you can actually raise it and lower it, manipulate it just a tad if you want. Um, but I really like it, have it being nice and flat and flush that you see that the ball goes up against here. You see there's a little lip, it'll, it'll stop it instead of just rolling all the way in. But um, yeah, that's bulkheads. The key thing being if you want your bulkhead, bulkheads to look good is to make sure that you are following a semi flat uh, uh, area around here and it's not too um, bumpy or angulated.